two different size tires on it. Let's see. No, they're the same, and right? They used to have 165s. They're all the same. 185s in the rear and 165s in the front. That was uh, the way Chuck always drove it. And they, they used to have cadmium plated wheels, not chrome plated wheels. That's right. That were that looked like painted wheels. I remember that. So where would those wheels be now? We have them. And um, do we still have those wheels, Dad? So I I opened my shop in Santa Cruz, and um, this was 1970. Well, I opened my shop in about 1970, and this was probably around 72, I would say. And this guy brought in. A, uh, an MGB for me to work on and it had Iowa plates on it and um, I think we ended up doing a head gasket on it or something and um, it seemed to be a nice guy and the story he gave me was oh I traded some land in Iowa for this car and that's why it had Iowa plates <laughs> <Okay>. on it. <clears throat> so we've got this MG in the shop was I think it was an MGB GT we still had the head off of it he knew I had a Morgan he comes driving into the shop in this car, saying, look at it, and it had Iowa plates on it. Okay. Look at this car I just got, I, you know, really cool. And ah, I, I okay. looked at the car, and I recognized it right. as Chuck Lowry's car. I mean, there aren't, no, there no, weren't any Morgans, there are and there weren't any other Morgans with, cat, with cadmium plated wheels, different sized tire, bigger tires in the front than the rear, a nardy steering wheel, hand modified carburetors. Uh -huh. It was clearly Chuck Chuck's Lowry's car. car. Right. And I knew it was his baby, and he would never sell it. And so I looked at it, and I, went, I said to the guy, I said, you know, because I didn't know it was anything weird. I said, well, I don't know where you got this car, but I recognize this car, and it's not from Iowa. It came from Southern California, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I know the guy who has owned it. Uh -huh. And so I went back into my office to call down to, to it was then Sutton and Flu. And talked to Claude. This was on a Thursday, and he says, "Oh yeah, Chuck." Lowry. I couldn't remember Chuck Lowry's name at, at that moment. I said, "Oh, you know that car, the drop head with the two different side wheels and the modified car." Yeah, Chuck Lowry's car. It was stolen Tuesday night. Oh, so this right. was on Thursday. I vaguely remember hearing that. Wow. So I called the called the police. Oh, we don't deal with chosen stolen cars. Call the highway patrol. So I called the highway patrol and they wouldn't believe me. How do you know it's the same car? How do you know that? Nah, I know, nah, nah, nah. I know, yeah. Well, call, call down to Southern California to the Morgan importer. So I guess they did and they confirmed that it was, that it had been stolen. So they called me back and well, we can, can we come over and check it out? So it turns out that these guys, this guy was part of a two or a three man ring mm -hmm. that were stealing cars out of restaurant parking lots in okay. Southern California, bringing them up to Northern California selling them to car dealers okay. and stealing cars from Northern California and taking <laughs> and them to Southern back. California trip. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and selling them. And so the, this MG that I had in my shop was a stolen car. Uh, okay. He'd previously brought in an Austin Healey that we'd done some work on. And I had his address and everything. I told the police, I, you know, and so they went over to Capitola, which is where he was right. okay. living. And apparently, the police were going in the front as this guy was going out the back, <laughs> but they caught him. They found the Austin Healey parked two or three blocks away with a, a crushed in, I don't know, or damaged front end right. that they'd crashed it. Um, and they recovered like 13 cars wow. from between, between northern and southern California. So they would just transport them, probably. I don't.